Hello, this video is on the presentation of data. Specifically, it's on frequency histograms, as shown here in the syllabus. Quantitative data can be organized into a frequency distribution or a grouped frequency distribution. For a grouped frequency distribution, the class intervals, or the groups, must cover the full range of the data values and must not overlap. In the example, a grouped frequency table shows the distribution of age of a group of adults. The ages range from 20 to 100, with each class interval being 10 years. Bar charts are used to illustrate qualitative data. The vertical axis represents the frequency, and each bar is a category. The bars have gaps between them. In the example, the bar chart shows the favourite colour of a group of children. Note that a bar chart is also called a bar graph. Frequency histograms are used to illustrate quantitative data. The vertical axis represents the frequency and each bar represents a class or a group. However, the x-axis is labelled as a continuous number line. In the example, the frequency histogram shows the distribution of age of a group of adults. A frequency histogram is similar to a bar chart. However, in a frequency histogram, there are no gaps between the bars unless the frequency for a particular class is zero, as shown in the example. And in a frequency histogram, the x-axis is labelled as a continuous number line. In part A of this question, we're asked to organise the data into a frequency distribution. If we begin by identifying the minimum and maximum values, which are 3.1 and 7.3, then set up several classes of equal width and tally the data as shown. In part B, we're asked to draw a frequency histogram. So if we draw and label the axes, remembering that the x-axis must be a number line scale, and then draw the bars, as shown. In part C, we're asked to state the modal class and to explain what this means. The modal class is the four to five centimetre interval. And it means that more lobsters have lengths in this interval than in any other interval of length. In this question, we're asked to estimate the number of items which have values between 15 and 35. If we begin by estimating the frequency of each bar, it may help to write your estimates on top of each bar, as shown. Then identify 15 and 35 on the x-axis. 15 is midway across the 10 to 20 class. So we estimate that half of that frequency will be between 15 and 20, which is 5, as shown. All of the 12x values in the 20 to 30 class are between 15 and 35. And since 35 is midway between 30 and 40, we estimate that half of the 16x values in that class are between 30 and 35. And that's equal to 8, as shown. Adding the three frequencies gives the value shown. So we estimate that there are 25 items between 15 and 35. 